Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And this, we need to shout. Why want to shout? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is an Easter Sunday, right? But after 40 days of land, and we entering the Holy Week, and also come to the is the Tridium, Holy Thursday, the Lord's Supper, Good Friday, the Passions of the Lord, and Easter Vigil, the grand celebrations with the big fire and finally we can shout out once again I invite all of you for those who are in the hall you need to shout hopefully the door, the, the, the door there called the sound huh? shout loudly together with me can or not finally we can shout out once again say what? Christ is risen He is truly risen He is risen indeed and let us rejoice and be glad in Him. That is overcome and life is given back to us. Death. There's a lot of people who are fear of death. Mati. Death. As Christians, as Catholics, we call Easter people. You and I are Easter people. Actually, we are told and been teach by Jesus we do not fear of death because just now in the time the priest said the prayer he already conquered the death he conquered the death you and I is his followers we shouldn't be fear of death but somehow or another in our life we face a lot of difficulties that we fear about death. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And this, we need to shout. Why want to shout? Last year, we cannot shout. Last year, only shout in the mic only. See the camera only. I still remember last year when the time I celebrate the Easter Tridium. with bishops, with two priests, and with few people of people who are doing the live streaming in a very, very small room. I still have the photo, but today I don't want to show you the photos. The photo is exclusive. <laughs> and we shout in the red room, small room, Alleluia, Alleluia. Maybe some of you heard it throughout the technologies that we have now. Internet that you can hear. The feelings last year celebrate the Holy Week and the Tridium. Very down, very down. Although very down, but we know that Jesus is a hope for each one of us. After one year until now, this year, you and I can come back to the church, but still got a lot of people cannot attend Mass. Archdiocese of Kuching, the bishops celebrate the Easter Vigil. Only less than 10 people because cannot have gathering. We still on the online on this line of pandemic. There is a lot of people still try to search the hope in their life. But you and I receive this blessing. You and I already received this blessing. 
It shouldn't be, how to say, put down on our faith in this moment. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ is reason. This is a big news. The big news that we need to celebrate for 50 days and the week after. And we need to give hope to the other people. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the first reading from the Acts of Apostles, we see the reactions of the first followers of Jesus Christ. And they could not contain themselves. So many people at that time and even today are convinced that they were neglected and wrong that Jesus never rose. Although we came here to celebrate the Easter, I didn't know how many of you had these feelings. Do you believe Christ is risen? Yes, huh? Good. Thank you very much. You know, last year, I reflect, I mean, until now also I reflect, especially until this year. This year, I didn't celebrate the Easter Vigil, but I'm together with the team. I found that to the liturgy celebrations, the spirituals of myself is not stopping on that, or maybe 12 years or many years ago, study in the theology. But in the pastoral way, that this every year we celebrate the liturgy, especially the triduums, is not on the circle, but the circles we turn back is have to move on, up and up and turning up and up. Thanks God. This year I also have a, another turning up point. And I hope that you also have this turning point going up continuously. If Jesus did not rise, then our Christianity is totally foolishness and we are just a group of minus people who stick with the myths because it helps us live in some way or another. If we did not believe, if Jesus did not rise, but more than 2,000 years, this fact confirmed and cannot be changed. Even though when the time Jesus lay in the tomb, some people try to steal the body. Today I asked the service, do you steal the body of Jesus or not? <laughs> no, right? The first Christians surely had to face so much of the, this way of thinking. Even today, it amazes people that we Christians can say, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe He is God. I believe that He died, was buried and rose again from the dead. And I believe that He did all this because He loves you and I, because He has given His life for all of us, whether we believe Him, believe in Him or not. The second reading invites us to realize that for us who do believe, our real life is hidden with Christ in God. This, this sounds like a strange kind of praise, but seems to mean that who we really are is only truly understand with Christ in God and it is hidden from others. You and I are the living Christ. We are carrying the image of God in the world that to share this big love to the people surrounding us. We can testify our faith, but if someone just looks at us, that person cannot tell if we 
believe or not, right? The gospel is about the empty tomb and speaks of the role of Mary Magdalene and the role of Peter. These are important first witnesses to our faith in the risen Jesus. How many of you see Jesus rose in the tomb? Anyone? No? My classmate, <laughs> he is a Vietnamese priest who was serving in Taiwan. He is a parish priest, one of the Taiwan Taipei. So he, we have a, have a classmate group, no? So he showed us, he did one tomb, empty tomb, and then he rolled the empty tomb inside, and then he jumped out, Christ is risen! <laughs> Yes, Christ is risen. Empty tomb. Even for us believers, they many times, there may be times when we feel that it is very difficult to believe. Right? Especially when at time we face a lot of challenges. We feel that God is not with us. Especially when at times that people betray us. Our close one betrayed us. Our friend betrayed us. Criticize us. Feel God, where are you? A Christ, where are you? On the other hand, every time that we make a choice to believe, our faith continues to grow stronger. Grow stronger. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this year, we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, the person who had hope, a person who had dreams, a person that led us to this hope and become reality. Others may consider us more and more foolish, and we simply have to accept that. People can say a lot of things, criticize a lot of things, but we need to follow Christ closely. There are times in our faith when we seem to rebel against faith and beliefs. Yet, deep inside us, we can still sense that we do believe, and that is belief is what our real life is about. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Gospel's account today showed us Mary Madeline who knew that some things really important had happened, but was not yet sure what had happened. It showed us St. Peter also recognizing that something important had happened, but not sure yet what had happened. Right? If you go back and read again the Gospel reading just now I read. And finally, the other disciple Seize and believe. Seize and believe. You and I are all these disciples. Although we didn't see, but we believe. We can identify with all three of these believers. Yeah? We can see ourselves as Mary, recognizing that something important has happened and that the leader of our faith should come and see what had happened. We can identify St. Peter who seems always slow to believe. Take his times. Run over very slow. Too old already. Yeah? But stay fast once he believes. Very firm when at times Jesus appear to them. Or we can identify with the more mysteries and mystical other disciple who sees and believes. We can be all three these peoples at once, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. At the heart of our Christian faith is the deep and unshakable conviction that Jesus is God. 
Jesus is our Lord. And that Jesus died and was raised from the dead, and that Jesus is still present in our lives. This is what we believe. The more deeply we believe these most basic elements of our Christian faith, the stronger will be our Christian, our Easter Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, at the Psalms, responsible Psalms today, say that today is the day the Lord has made. And you and I are celebrate this. So, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in Him. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord Jesus, that we believe, died and rose again. He only died once and saved all His peoples once for all. Once for all. You and I are receiving all this blessing and we need to share this blessing to the peoples around. May Almighty God bless us all the blessings that we have. Jesus Christ, our Lord, is risen. And may Almighty God bless you. Have a blessed Easter. Amen.